The term pirate may conjure up images of bearded men with eye patches, wooden legs, and parrots who were convicted and buried centuries ago, kind of like Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean, or Captain Blackbeard, one of history's most feared pirates. Pirate attacks are indeed posing a threat to today's shipping lines all over the world, so let's take a look at a pirate attack that caused the marking of the first time in 200 years that pirates had set foot on a ship sailing under the US flag. On April 8, 2009, the cargo ship Maersk, Alabama was sailing from Salala, Oman to Mombasa, Kenya. The 508 foot was sailing with 21 Americans on board, including its captain, Richard Phillips. They sighted a small speedboat carrying four pirates armed with AK 47s. The ship crew were trained for anti piracy tactics. They disabled the Alabama, and most of the crew retreated to the fortified steering room. However, Captain Phillips and several others were captured on the bridge. The unarmed crew hid from the pirates, then attacked them and captured one of the pirates. After negotiating an exchange of hostages, the crew released their captive, and of course, the pirates did not hold their end of the bargain and took Captain Phillips on a motorized lifeboat and demanded a ransom of 2 million US dollars. After restoring the power to the Alabama, the crew began following the 18-foot craft. One of the crew members had sent out distress signals earlier. And on April 9th, the destroyer USS Bainbridge reached the Alabama. At this point, the Alabama was ordered to continue sailing to Kenya. Navy SEAL Team 6 was dispatched from Virginia and arrived at the Bainbridge on April 11th. Later that day, the pirates allowed the US ship to attach a tow to the lifeboat, which had run out of fuel. While the cable was attached to keep the small craft stable in rough waters, the pirates allegedly had run out of cot, a stimulant that eases motion sickness. The tether was slowly shortened until the lifeboat was well within distance of Navy SEAL snipers on the Bainbridge's fantail. On April 12, one of the pirates effectively surrendered after requesting medical treatment on board the Bainbridge. Later that day, a captor was seen pointing a gun at Phillips, believing the captain was in danger. Three Navy SEAL snipers were ordered to take action when the pirates were all visible. The snipers simultaneously fired, killing them all. Phillips was unharmed. Surviving pirate Abdulwali Mus was held on boxer and was eventually flown to the United States to face trial. Prosecutors brought charges in a federal courtroom in New York City that included piracy, conspiracy to seize a ship by force, and conspiracy to commit hostage taking. Moose's lawyers asked he be trialed as a juvenile, alleging he was either 15 or 16 years old at the time of the hostage taking, but the court ruled that Moose was not a juvenile and would be trialed as an adult. He later admitted that he was 18 years old and pleaded guilty to hijacking, kidnapping, and hostage-taking charges. He received a present sentence of 33 years and 9 months. Many cargo ships began hiring security details, and the number of pirate attacks in the waters of Somalia decreased. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for more videos, and don't forget to ring that bell. Thank you for watching another episode of Endless Info.